Hey guys, it's Back837 here, and um, today we have Daniel with us. Hey guys. Yeah, so uh, this is part... Is it three or four? <laughs> part three. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Part three at the moment. Yeah, part three of uh, a long Fallout 3 series. Um, just to remind you guys, we're going to be covering just the main highlights of uh, Fallout 3. You're not going to be like, okay, here's us walking through the desert for like, I don't know. Like 25 minutes. Yeah, I hate walking in this game. We, we should, I wish I had a space mount or, you know, you can ride people. That'd be, yeah. That'd be pretty nice. I wish we had like a vehicle once you finish the game, just so you could ride around the countryside really fast. Pretty fun. Yeah, alright, so, um, I think one thing you should talk about right off the bat is speech. Speech in this game. Oh, yeah, speech. Speech as a skill or just dialogue? Um, well, you just use your speech to, uh,. Yeah. Get those like, people away from, you know, the whore here. <laughs> yeah, well, speech uh, in this game plays a very big part. There's some certain dialogues, dialogue lines you can say that require speech. And usually that's a shortcut through the game to achieve things, and you can also get experience from it. I like you, Yeah, um... Uh, okay, so, you know what? E3 trailer came out for Fall of New Vegas. Let's uh, talk about that. It's starting to sound more like a podcast, no, but... <laughs> Yeah. Well, it has to do with Fallout, right? Oh, the yeah. Fallout New Vegas trailer. That was pretty... I mean, it wasn't like the Vegas thing, but of course, it was nice, and I was uh, really pleased with it. The only thing I didn't like is that some of the texture graphics were removed off of the guns and uh, people, but I can assume they're going to layer that on before uh, the release. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure when we're going to do this, but me and Jordan are thinking about doing a podcast, obviously. Uh, yeah. We'll probably do... We'll probably make one before this video comes out, and I'll link it here. And we're going to do one either this week or next week, where we're going to do a podcast with Mr. Bloody Katie, which I've been announcing for a long time, but we just keep forgetting to do it, because yeah. we've got better things to do. I mean, well, there's a lot of assholes that interrupt us while we're doing it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, that's uh, pretty funny. Um, okay, right here what's going on is uh, you wake up in your bed after doing the goat test, which is just tag your skills, pretty much. And uh, so anyways, you wake up, and... And that is going on about how the vault is under attack by rad roaches because your dad left. I don't think that's, that's what she's talking about. No, literally, that is what she's talking about. No, she's saying that her, because nobody's allowed to leave the vault because so, the overseer is freaking out because yeah. the dad left. And there's a rad roach attack going on at the same time, which is pretty funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, okay. Anyways, yeah, so um, right here, she keeps on going on about it. And there's this horrible... This is a really long dialogue part. It does not need to be this long. It's like talking to main quest characters like... You know, when, oh my god, NPCs. Yeah, NPCs. Some of them are okay, but some of them are like, hey, why are you here? And you tell them. And then it's like, oh, I'm going to say this long introduction. And then you're going to say, oh, what's the introduction? you got to explain it. And nobody wants to listen. Like, it's so boring. Anyways, right here, uh, you got to remember to take your stim packs out of, those, out of that med kit. I mean, like, really, you got to. Anyways, yeah, so I'm pretty much looking around the room for extra things. I haven't done the intro part to Fallout in a long time. So, you know. Uh, I'm not the most professional at it. Right here, I forgot which button was uh, my hit boy, which is tab, of course. And, um, by the way, we're playing this on PC if you couldn't figure that out. You know, with a moving mouse around <laughs> the screen. <laughs> you, know someone, you know someone's gonna still ask. Uh, yeah, so, Daniel, you got any, uh, questions? Anything to bring up? Um, when we, we're gonna get Fallout New Vegas most likely the week or day or month is gonna oh, come we're gonna out. Oh, the day it comes out, and there's gonna be a video posted that day. Oh, uh, yeah, most likely. And, uh, hopefully, Bethesda isn't like, no, we're all gonna be like Rockstar and not let you post our oh, no. videos. You're gonna see it the night of, uh, New Vegas. I'm yeah, the night of release, we're probably gonna go and pick if it up. If it's a and... school day, I'm definitely skipping school. I mean, I don't even care. Just to play Fallout. Just, yes. You yeah, know yeah. I mean. <laughs> um, wait, it's coming out in August or October. No, oh, it's coming out October 19th. October 19th. Uh... Supposedly, if it's not delayed. I have a feeling it might be delayed. Yeah, it might be slightly delayed maybe for like yeah, a month or something. Probably but... till like November. Just because I saw the graphics and they weren't layered down all the way, and I was like, that's never a good thing, especially when it's fast arriving. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, so the day comes out, we're going to end up uh, posting a video, mm -hmm. and uh, so you guys can. You know, look forward to that. It'll yeah. be pretty interesting. We'll most likely do some commentary on it. Oh, yeah, there's going to be commentary on it. Um, yeah, and we'll give our thoughts on the game and, you know, how it's like. And I'll probably do a review of it the next day. Um, I mean, I might... Well, probably two days after, just because I want to play through the whole game to get the feel of it. Right here, I start killing everybody, just because the simple fact, I want experience. I mean, and he was pretty vulnerable there. I mean, beat him over the head once. 
Yep, yep. Look at that baseball bat. It's covered in freaking blood. Oh, not anymore. No, but... it's just the shadow. It looks like blood. But... No, that was blood. It just disappeared. That stuff I happened. Have those <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so escaping from the vault is uh, pretty easy. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. Just walk through the halls until you find... Oh, this part's funny. Here's Butch, if anyone remembers this asshole. Never does anything good for you. So he wants you to save his mom, who's uh, being attacked by like three no. rad roaches. And I'm just... Yeah, I, I figure I, I'm going to go save her and then do the unthinkable after. <laughs> anyway, you, you guys will see what happens. Yeah. So as you can see, this dumb bitch who left the kitchen and now is being attacked by roaches doesn't want to move and just crashes in the corner like a little pussy. No, I start beating her just for the simple fact that she's alive. And of course, you gain karma, so it's not the matter. <laughs> and if, apparently, she's invulnerable to bullets. Yeah, this is a bit ridiculous here. This is a good follow-up moment. <laughs> This just shows the flaws of it. Look at that, I missed like all the shots. When I hit her once, nothing happens. Even when he shoot her, like nothing. Oh, the sound's a little off sync, guys, so sorry about that. But That's uh, that's a Wii game, I think? So. Yeah, it's probably a Wii game recording. But uh, it doesn't matter. Well, uh, you guys will get over it. <laughs> yep. And if you don't, that's your problem. Anyways, um, what's it called? How You said you played through this game a few times, right? Did yeah, or, yeah uh, correct. Did you, how much did you like this game on a scale of like 1 to 10? i give it a, if I had to rate it, on, yeah. I'd probably give it a 8.5. Yeah, I don't know. When I first played through this game, I was a bit lost because, you know, it was pretty complicated, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I liked it, but then I never got into it. And then just, I watched like a couple videos, gameplay videos, and I was like, oh, that's what you do. And that's how I pretty much got into it. Yeah, I was kind of stupid at the beginning. <laughs> really? The only thing I don't like about it is the combat system, but everything else seems to be fine. Yeah, I don't know, the storyline is really good in this, especially yeah, when yeah. you get into the deep lore of it. Pretty interesting. It's kind of like Diablo, where you don't understand what the fuck's happening, yeah. and then after a while, you're like, oh, well, yeah. now I understand. Oh, by the way, so, I'm probably also going to mention this in the podcast, maybe, but uh, where I'm going to end up picking up, let's see, uh, that comes out in November, okay. So I think Black Ops comes out in November, right? Uh, yeah, it's November. Yeah, so I'm going to end up picking that up on the day of release as well, most likely. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Jordan get New Vegas, and I will end up... This guy's an idiot, as you can see here. <laughs> just runs down the hallway, gets shot to pieces. Of course, I run down the hallway, too. That's just my job. I mean, like... Look, I still can't kill that guy's mom. She's invincible. <laughs> I just shot her in the face three times. <laughs> And look, like, this part's pr I kill these guys just because of their guns and their armor and experience, of course. I try to salvage as much experience as I can at the beginning of the game. Just because. Yeah, so, um... And I'm gonna also end up picking up Diablo 3 for the PC when it comes out. If most it ever comes out. Yeah, most likely on the, on the day of release, just because it's that awesome. <laughs> yeah, we like to pre-order our games. I require that game. <laughs> like, it's 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 gonna be pretty good. I, I can just see it. What's your... Oh, this is totally random, but what's your views on uh, Cataclysm? Oh, Cataclysm. Um, most people are saying, no, I don't want it to change the original, but there, because nobody else can level anymore. I'm like, so let me get this straight. You dumbasses think that what's gonna happen is people are gonna go and they're gonna change the whole world for everyone so that when you start at level 1, you have to fight level 75s? No, that doesn't make <laughs> any sense. Yeah. What's gonna? I, I'm looking forward to it, just because the world's changed up, and you know, it's not the same old thing anymore. I mean, starting a new character is actually gonna be pretty exciting. Think about it. There's gonna be fire everywhere. Um, I mean, it's not how it's gonna work, most likely. Um, if you, I know you haven't played that much through Wrath of King. You haven't done most of the quests. Oh yeah. So there's one quest in. Uh, we're talking about World of Warcraft, just in case nobody gets that world, the new expansion coming out. I probably made people click axe a lot. <laughs> <laughs> At least rate before you go. So. Um, <laughs> So, basically, oh, we're running out of time, actually. <laughs> oh, don't worry. If you uh, watch our next part, which should be posted, like, right after this, hey, you know, you're going to hear the rest of our conversation about uh, WTLO. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll make the commentary right after this, but we'll probably post maybe two days apart. Just yeah, because just so people don't, yeah. have time. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, right here, I'm just uh, picking up some stuff, some glasses. And By the way, <laughs> also, sorry to interrupt you there, but, um... If we do post it every day, it'll still probably take us about a year to finish doing all this crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a long time. But they're going to probably be finished by New Vegas. Anyways, guys, yeah. this has uh, been a great video by Back 7 and we're out.